else? I guess. The, oh, and the fifth episode, we have Shura. We're gonna meet Shura, and I think this is a very interesting um, episode as well because we we kind of get a little look back at um, the classic series. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, Death Mask again about the classic series um he his he, there was a little little bit of detail there death mask his cloth wouldn't respond to him he said something like oh you would fight for me again and he said that's because there was a well I don't want to talk get into it too much but the cloth kind of disobeyed him so I thought that was easy I thought that was nice to point out and also so we go back to Shura who appears in uh, the five episodes? Um, we are reminded of Shira's crime, killing um, Idols, because he he um, Idols was Idols the Sagittarius. He was pronounced a traitor. He took Athena's baby because he wanted to protect her for the protect her from the the baby baby Athena. We wanted to protect her from the evil Pope. So, Shura was sent out to kill him, and apparently, and Iles was, not Iles, oh my god, Iolia, I, I forgot to say, Iolia is the younger brother of Sagittarius Iles, he, he has, Iles, Iolia, Iolia, Leo, I'm just say Leo, Leo is, kind of has this, still a little upset with Shura, so the, the focus on, Episode five was the sh everyone's shadow, and so we we kind of fight these illusions of the bronze saint, but uh, Leo ends up fighting a shadow of Capricorn Shura, so it doesn't turn out to be the real Shura, but Shura, but the illusion was made because Leo felt the anger towards Shura for killing his brother, and. Oh, I like this. I like Shura's introduction to the real Shura. He's actually one of my favorites because Shura has the Excalibur blade. Excalibur, swoosh, awesome stuff. I love it. It's um, um, not as cool in this show, but um, it's all right. So, and Shura acknowledged that yes, I'm the one who hurt you, and I'm sorry. It, I think one of the highlights of the classic series was Shura knew that he was wrong um, because he realized he he nearly killed the baby Althena while attacking Ilos uh, Sagittarius I think that's how it turned out so yeah so that's basically what happened in the first five episodes so far oh god I, I forgot Aphrodite oh, oh my god I'm sorry Aphrodite um, doesn't have much of a part. He was friggin' awesome though when he did. I he um I think the part with Death Mask, uh, the episode with Death Mask and his girlfriend or his, his love interest, blah blah blah. He shows us some moves, but then he's absent for the entire for the majority of the series. He he's very beautiful, you know. He shows he oh hey I, I I I'm pretty. Crimson Rose, shoot, just like that. So. Kick the behind of Fafner. Fafner had. Why are you named it Fafner? Why are you named after a dragon if you're so weak? Masochist scientist. I'm telling you, he's gonna be in a mad scientist. <laughs> he get his butt kicked. Arius Moo kicked his butt, and so did Aphrodite. Just, but uh, thanks to Aphrodite, though, we learned a little bit about Eudrasil and about its um purpose in Andrea's plan. Did I talk about Andrea's? At least not that much. He's the bad guy. Um, so I think I did a lot of explaining for the introduction of this series. Um, for the next volumes, it's going to be the obligatory Gold Saint versus Tough Opponent <laughs> fights. So this is my first review. I hope you liked it. See you another time. Burn those cosmos until I come back. In the meantime, I hope I can find a way to stay warm. Oh my gosh. Freaking death mask and legend of sanctuary. Dancing about death. That's how mean he was. Stepping, I shoot you, I kill you, and I hurt you.
Twerking. I don't think he was twerking. I don't remember. 